I don't think there was ever a, a kind of lightning flash moment where I decided I wanted to become an artist. I know that. What I did decide really early on was that I wanted to go to art school. Where I grew up, I could. it was the same bus route. I just stayed on longer to go to art school. So I got off the bus to go to school and there was these other amazing people that stayed on and I just thought, I want to, I want to go there. I think I would describe my work as being sculpture. I make stuff. I make stuff that people see or experience or read or look at in various ways. But at the end of the day, I would probably say that I make sculpture because I don't make painting. I think my upbringing, you know, you talk about your, how you, what influences you in your life. And, you know, I grew up without a car, which in, repeatedly I come back to. You know, I grew up in a city. I had a very urban upbringing, but we didn't have a car. So from a really early age, I was just always aware of transport and how you navigated the city using public transport and things you saw, like if you're not actually driving. It probably works quite well if I think of it in relation to the cycling project that I did, which is called Slow Down. This is about making a big chalk drawing with a group of cyclists where they leave a line behind their bicycles as they cycle through a city. And the routes have changed and the reason for doing the project has changed from its first output in Huntley, which was when we were involved in a discussion with the people in the town about how they might have bike lanes. It's now become a device for groups of people to navigate their cities. For a generation, I've been asked to make a new work that is to be in the public realm. So there's a series of sculptures that are going to move around Scotland uh, on trailers <laughs> um, and they're going to appear at different ports and I really love those junctions where you get off the train or the boat and you have to find your next stage of transport. The sculptures are using this um, powder coated steel or aluminium but this checker plate which is over here on the wall which is a sort of textured metal surface non-slip that you get a lot in car ferries. I really wanted to kind of work with the surface and try out some new coatings to make a really beautiful tactile surface. And then there's a, a small book that is an artist book that is one in a series of artist books that I've been making for quite a long time now. They're small A5 publications that can I give my thoughts on given subjects? So this one is going to be my thoughts on travelling. The books are going to be given out on certain trains and certain boats in a planned but not advertised manner. So somebody might just come up to you and hand you a book. So it's not really 100% about being creative and about making things that are beautiful for people to look at. Not that that's not important, but for me, I think there is a kind of social engagement element of what I do. I think it's important that there's a layer of society that is questioning how things are done.